In today's show, there's a special event during seminar, and we have more information on it. And if you didn't have a chance to catch the Chiefs Parade, Kay's going to catch you up. Hey Vikes, I'm Gage. And I'm Sage, and this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Seniors, if you've received a scholarship, please stop by the counselor's office and let Ms. Conley know. Also, make sure to stop by and see her to verify information for our diplomas. Washburn Tech will be here on Monday, March 2nd. If you would like to meet with them, there is a sign-up sheet in the counselor's office. In honor of FFA week, FFA is hiding pictures of a John Deere tractor around the school. If you find it, bring it to W11 to get a free meat stick. Sophomores, the SHS Bank is taking applications. The applications are in the bank. Stop by and pick one up if you're interested. They are due on Wednesday, March 4th, and interviews will be the week after spring break. SHS Theater is putting on one acts. These are open to anyone who is interested in theater. Auditions will be held Thursday, the 27th. Ask Jade Espen, Gabby Van Sickle, or Mr. Stoffer for forms or questions. In seminar today, there's a dance routine. Autumn found out more about it. Hey Vikes, I heard today there's a Charleston dance during CALP. I'm here with Ms. Hurd to tell us some more information. Okay, so today during CLP in the band room, we are going to be doing a um, kind of Charleston dance workshop um, to just kind of dive into the 1920s and some of the aspects like jazz and dance that um, made it how it was. Um, people that can attend, so juniors that are um, reading The Great Gatsby or that are in English right now can attend. Um, any other CLPs that want to come learn how to do Charleston are um, open to, but you need to check in with your CLP first. All right, would you like to add any more information? Um, yeah, come out, it's gonna be a fun time and it'll kind of get you out of your comfort zone a little bit and love to see you there. Okay, thank you, make sure you attend. Make sure to go check that out. Now over to Gage for the sports. I'm Peppa Pig. Kiss Pig, hug the swine. Some of them are good friends of mine. I'm especially prone to those Poland China porkers. I'm more fun than a dog and smarter than a horse. And you might find them a little coarse, but shoot, ain't near as rude as some New Yorkers. I'm loving it. Spring sports begin March 2nd. Remember you need to have a physical and concussion form on file before tryouts. If you have any questions, stop by the athletic department. Today at 1.15, Dylan Williams will sign a letter of intent to wrestle at Bethany College. The theme for Friday's game at Hayden is Galaxy. If you don't have anything Galaxy, you can wear black. There will be a boys tennis informational meeting this Thursday at the 27th at 1.15 in the West Commons. Bowling regionals at Emporia 10 to 5. SHS Orchestra Spring Concert in the Auditorium 7 to 8. If you missed the parade, Kate has some more information on what went down. If you have forgotten, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl for the first time in 50 years. Here's the famous Welcome Back Parade. Bring on the players! This was a really fun experience. And here we have Damian Williams. This man was probably the greatest running back for the Chiefs. I mean, he had so many touchdowns. Harrison Butker, he is also here. He was our kicker. He did great. Along with him, we got Tyreek Hill on the right. Then we got McCall Hardman. He's in the back. And in the middle, I think it's Sammy Watkins. And we're going to have Demarcus Robinson run right in front of us here. There he is. On the bus, we got Frank Clark. Shark. He is the greatest. Now here is the big bus. We got lots of people on here. And most importantly, the Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Near 
nearly one million people showed up. Let's do this again next year, Chiefs. It was a lot of fun. Great job, Chiefs. Hopefully we don't have to wait another 50 years for another win. Now let's go over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon. We had some very cold temperatures this morning and along with a brisk northwest wind, it felt even colder and that cold air is centered across the north central U.S. spilling down through the southern plains. But watch what happens over the next few days. That gets bottled up and the troughing will move to the northeast. Some ridging develops in the west and that's going to spread in milder air starting tomorrow. So let's take a look at your forecast for tomorrow. We'll start off partly cloudy in the morning, but as the day goes on, clouds will begin to increase and so will our temperatures highs in the upper 40s tomorrow. So cool, but warmer than today. And we could have just a few showers as we get into the afternoon. So here's what the radar may look like by this is supposed to be the afternoon. You can see some spotty showers possible across the state. It's nothing widespread or heavy for you tomorrow and checking out the seven day forecast you can see that the warming trend continues right on into the weekend highs will be in the 60s for both saturday and sunday ahead of more slight chances of rain coming up next monday and tuesday but that still could miss us to the southeast now back to your anchors all right that's all we got for today vikes have a great rest of your day